Hey, Colin Folk here coming to you from my home in Northern California. Um, over the last six months, I've been setting up my new workshops and they're finally ready. So uh, let's take a look. First, let's start with the small shop. All right, so this is the small shop and this is where production begins. So when we got this building, it was just wood studs. There were, uh, and it was, it was full of decades of junk. So it took a long time to clear everything out. Uh, the wall that's back there didn't exist, uh, which is how we got everything in here. So one of the biggest pieces of equipment that I had to move was this kiln. I've had this kiln uh, since 2013, and it had always lived where it was in my old shop. And uh, at some point, a room was built around it. So to move this kiln, we had to take a wall down and then wheel it out of that building onto a trailer. And then there is a, a, a barn door on the side over here and we brought it in through there before we built the wall. Um, back here is my CNC machine. Um, so that's all set up. Uh, this was one of the scarier things to move because it's, um, well, it's expensive and it's fragile and very sensitive and there's all kinds of alignment issues. Um, and I really didn't want to have to unwire it. Um, it comes from here, this is kind of its brain. And then there's a bunch of wires that are connected and then it runs up here to the gantry. So we took the gantry, that's the this guy here that runs uh, back and forth and up and down and side to side. And we took the brain, this guy, and we just, three of us carried it all together, um, which was pretty touch and go, but we got it here. So uh, that was a big one. And then beyond that, I have all my, a couple of my shot presses in here, which are all, you know, heavy and again, alignment issues and um, another problem was getting air over here. My compressor is in the other building, so uh, we had to run a hundred foot line and it comes in right here. So now this has all has air. Uh, and then this building had enough electricity, enough big electricity to run all this stuff, but um, we had to dig into this uh, sub panel here and add a bunch of stuff. So there we are. Uh, wall plugs, there was a 20 amp line in case we wanted a hydro in here. Uh, plasma's 50 amps. And then wall plugs and then another one for the winch for the kiln which is this guy up here and then uh then the, the big line for the kiln as well so uh there's a few things that i'm still kind of setting up in here like i'm going to bring my, my drill presses over here now and i need to bring and set up a little kind of drill press corner and then uh yeah shelving from storage from you know years of doing this stuff uh, some extra bits you know repair parts that kind of thing, uh, old dimple forms. Uh, so this is the small shop. So let's go ahead and walk over to the big shop. Ah, uh, the big shop. So the big shop uh, has three phase power, which uh, is like big industrial power, uh, which is hard to get uh, anymore. It'd be a hard to get the permit to install it. So I'll give you the full view of the big shop. And so when we got this building, uh, part of this shed was coming off the building here and we took it down to studs and we did like a we did a barn moving essentially we lifted up and we walked it over here and stuck it on that side um, so what's in here let's take a look it's mostly kind of auxiliary storage and tool storage uh, my compressor is in here there's the compressor uh, a few other presses that are not operational right now yeah, and then just uh, tool storage um, AC unit for when the, it gets hot in the summer and in the move I was able to get my tools super organized which feels so great um, I do have a second little compressor that I was using for a while before the big compressor came over um, yeah nice little skylight in here under the redwoods yeah so that's the little tool shop extension and so when I moved in here uh, it was already like this it was uh, had the holes and it was green and purple so we decided just to keep that motif going so Let's head into the big shop. Ready? So here we are. So this building, we're not really sure what the history of it was, other than we think maybe they did car transmissions in here at some point because we get things in the mail to this address that says it's addressed to transmissions. Um, one of the greatest features that I immediately fell in love with is just this long row of skylights. Um, it's so nice. You can feel the whole day go by. 
Uh, you can feel when a cloud goes over. Um, so it's a really nice feature of this building. Um, and then beyond that, uh, I put in a wood burning stove. Um, so if you can only smell what it smells like in here, it smells so good, like a nice warm fire. Um, there's this big industrial door out here. That's the back of it. So if we kind of pan around, there's this big line right here, which there used to be this massive compressor outside. Uh, I think that's a 70 amp line. And so, yeah, this is the shop that has three phase. Um, all the corrugated metal, metal is here like that already. Uh, yeah, so we got a bunch of instruments there, some that are in production, some of my personal collection. Um, and then, yeah, I built out this tuning room over the last couple of weeks. So let's go take a look in here. Yeah, so here's the tuning room. And I put this little window in so I can look out and I can see my desk, and I can see the front door, and I can see out into the yard. So there we are, the big shop. Um, it's taken a lot of work to get it up to this state, but I'm, I'm just absolutely thrilled with the space and the feel of the space. Um, so here we are, we'll do one more wrap around.